A ninth grader handcuffed at his own bus stop this morning, and police say it was not done by a cop. Thanks for joining us here at 11. I'm Mike Dardis. And good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palillo. This scary incident happened to a Fairfield teenager right in front of his apartment complex. WLWT News Science Rachel Hersheimer talked with that teenager and his mother tonight to get more. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Sheree, and this teenager is absolutely traumatized. He was just going about his normal routine at the bus stop today when he says a man approached him, detained him, and then put handcuffs on him. Now, we're not identifying the teen or his mother to protect their safety. A shocking situation playing out early this morning in Fairfield Township. I never thought this would happen to me, just walking to a bus stop trying to get on the bus. This 14-year-old Fairfield City School freshman says he was waiting at his bus stop at the Tyler's Creek apartment complex with friends just playing around when a car pulled up next to them. The guy got out the car and was like, hey, you. And the girl was like, who, me? And he was like, no, you, the tall black man. Confusion, concern, and panic started sinking in. He detained me, and he was asking, like, where do you live? What's your address? Then the teen says he was handcuffed. Hamilton police identified the suspect as Bradley Piles. I was like, I don't know why this man has me detained. I don't know why I'm in these cuffs. As his school bus showed up, a neighbor driving by noticed something was wrong. The teen jumped in her car and went to school where his mother was waiting for him. We put our kids on a bus and we, th and we think that they're going to be, you know, in good hands, but obviously we wasn't. The two tell WLWT they went to the Hamilton Police Department to report what happened. Tonight, Piles is facing multiple charges, including impersonating a police officer and abduction. I I'm still shocked. Like, I'm just still traumatized in my head. And the district told parents while the situation was very serious, the police department did assure them that there is no ongoing threat to the community at this time. We're live tonight in Fairfield. Rachel Hersheimer, WWT News.